Jay was born John Russell Sordian in Indianapolis, Indiana, and Methodist Hospital in the middle of a snowstorm in April 1953. He has two sisters. Judy is his older sister. Andrea is his younger sister. Like most humans, he had a mom, Hattie, and a dad, John. His last name, Sordian, is a Romanian name from the area of Austria-Hungary, better known as Transylvania. No kidding. Because John's name was like his dad, John, John became J.R. Until a first grade teacher, for some reason, named him Jay. 25 years later, in Philadelphia, while he was translating Japanese research on cancer for the National Cancer Institute, his housemates started calling him Dr. J. A number of years later, he earned a doctorate of oriental medicine and became a legitimate Dr. J. Between high school and college, Dr. J, not Dr. J at the time, assisted his uncle Russell to do 54 surgeries. These included cancer resections, hernia repairs, gallbladder resections, varicose vein strippings, vasectomies, and other things. Jay has learned about how people work from the inside out. He has always been interested in how people and things work. At age 18, he started studying Tai Chi and Japanese, and his interest in learning more about energy led him to start his study of how we operate from the standpoint of acupuncture medicine while living in Japan for three years. Jay has been married for 25 years to his wife Sigal from Israel. His two daughters, Savion, 17, and Ela, 10, are a source of inspiration, pride, curiosity, and humor, among other emotions. Dr. J is a source of embarrassment to his older daughter who is 17. He is still trying to figure out how parenting works. His favorite movies include Harvey, My Cousin Vinny, and Kuch Kuch Hotehe. He cries at unexpected moments during movies, even ones like Big Fat Liar, to the amusement and amazement of his wife and daughters. J Dr. J has successfully treated children with asthma, chronic fatigue, juvenile arthritis, and failure to thrive. Injuries in professional athletes and martial artists, fatigue and panic attacks in authors and political radicals, CEOs, secretaries, artists, psychotherapists, teenagers, and monks. <laughs> now Dr. J will describe how acupuncture and oriental medicine work. Would you agree that our bodies require oxygen and energy to survive and thrive? Would you agree that our bodies require an adequate amount of blood that is of high quality to survive and thrive? This is the way our bodies work. Oxygen and energy are carried by the bloodstream to and through all the organs of the body as well as the brain and spinal cord, what we call the central nervous system. If there is enough oxygen traveling through healthy blood circulated without obstruction to the organs, this then produces a central nervous system that sends and receives clear messages to the rest of the body. With this natural process in place, your body will function at 100% and you will have a sense of ease in all parts of your body. Your thinking, your memory, come easily. Menstrual cycles, movement is easy without pain. Digestion works fine, you sleep well. 100% function means health. However, the body can start to lose function due to traumas, stress, and toxicity. These three influences cause what we call stagnation of blood and chi. Just like a tourniquet applied to a part of the body, that decreased blood flow causes a decreased function. Like a coronary artery blockage, stopping the heart, or a blockage of blood to the part of the brain, causing a blacking out or a stroke. Over time, the stagnation from traumas, stress, and toxicity cause a decrease in function. When function decreases to 80%, we develop dysfunction. With a continued stagnation and dysfunction, when we come to 60% of functioning, we start to develop disease. And when we get to 40% of function, we manifest symptoms. Symptoms are thus the last thing that happens, not the first. Thus, we can treat symptoms and help people get rid of their symptoms of things such as pain, digestive problems, and other complaints. However, the holistic approach is to deal with the underlying causes of symptoms 
disease, and dysfunction, so as to regain function. 100% function equals health. Giving you increased function gives you greater happiness in life. Giving you increased function means a longer life. That is the goal of my clinic. That is why I say that my purpose is to help as many people as possible achieve maximal health and vitality so that they can achieve their goals and purposes in life. This will help you better understand the meaning behind the words I use in this invitation to come in the clinic which Terry Lamb and I created together and is on my website. Let's take a look at that and see what I have to say. Thank you. Optimal health is operating at 100% functioning. When we operate at 100% functioning, our movement is easy. Our thinking is easy. Our digestion, you just eat something and things digest. You don't have difficulties in any of the functions of the body. The organs all work right. That is what my goal is to help a person achieve optimal function. I'm assuming that the reason a person is checking this website and watching this is because they know of someone who's in pain or has a health problem or they themselves have that. And so I'm inviting them to come into the office because I think I can help them. Each of us has a core energetic structure that controls everything in our body. If that core structure becomes imbalanced because of trauma, toxicity, or stress, functioning of the core starts to decrease. That turns into disease and then into symptoms. So although I can help people with their symptoms, my focus is actually working on the core energy structure so that their entire health will be improved, their function is improved, and the symptoms disappear as a result of working at the cause of what's going on, not just on the surface. I want to help you achieve maximal health and vitality so you can quickly have a happier life, stronger relationships, and be more efficient in everything you do. Call today and let me help transform your life for the better. Take the natural path to optimal health for your sake and for those you love.
Now Dr. J will describe how acupuncture and oriental medicine work. 